Okay, so in this video we're going to be having a look at a difficult problem using ratios as fractions. And we're also going to use a little bit of sharing in a ratio. So if you want, pause this video, have a go at this question, but otherwise stick with me and let's get started. So it says there are four types of cards in a game. Each card has a black circle or a white circle or a black triangle or a white triangle. And then it gives us some ratios. So the number of black shapes to white shapes is three to five. And the number of circles to triangles is two to seven. Express the total number of cards with black shapes as a fraction of the total number of cards with a triangle. So we're looking at writing a fraction. So the total number of cards with a black shape out of the total number of cards with a triangle. So we need to find the total number of cards that have a black shape and the total number of cards that are a triangle. So there are a couple of ways to do this. Now with these questions where we're writing ratios as fractions, I would always advise drawing almost like a probability tree. And again, you've got a video on this that will be linked in the description that shows you different types of questions. Now we don't necessarily need it for this question, but I'm going to show you why I would draw it anyway, purely because there are always different types of questions like this. So if we split it up into black and white shapes, the fraction that are black, and we can see that from this ratio here, would be 3 out of 8, and the fraction that's white is going to be 5 out of 8. It then splits off into circles and triangles. So if we split that off, we've got circles and triangles, circles and triangles, and we can get that from this ratio here, and that's 2 and 7, so that's 9 in total. So circles is 2 out of 9, and triangles is 7 out of 9, and that's going to be the same just below. Now, and I'm going to explain as well why we didn't necessarily need it for this question, but let's just think about why we might need this for another type of question. So if the question said, what fraction are black triangles? Well, we'd look at this root here we'd multiply those two fractions together. And if we multiplied those two fractions together, we'd have 3 times 7 on the top, which is 21. So we'd have 21 on the top. And on the bottom, we'd have 8 times 9, which is 72. Now, the important number that we're looking for here is this 72. So we know that it has to be a multiple of that particular number there. Obviously those fractions uh, or those ratios could have been simplified and they probably are, but it has to be a multiple of 72. So if we imagine here, particularly as we're going to be writing a fraction, so it doesn't matter if it has been simplified or not, let's just imagine that there are 72 cards. Now of course we didn't necessarily need it for this question because we know here the total of this ratio is 8 and the total of this ratio is 9, so we could just do 8 times 9 which gives us that 72, which is obviously much faster. But the purpose of the probability tree there is if we're asked a different type of question. So for black triangles, we get 21 over 72, and that would be the fraction that are just black triangles. Now this question is obviously a little bit different. This is quite a unique one. So anyway, we've got the 72. Now we need to figure out, well, out of those 72, if there were just 72, okay, bear in mind there can be any multiple of 72, what amount are going to be and let's just think about what we've been asked in the question, black shapes. So what amount of those are going to be black shapes? Well, it says the ratio of black shapes to white shapes is 3 to 5. So if we use that ratio, we can split it up, black and white, in the ratio 3 to 5. So the working out we would do for that, we'd do 72 divided by the total, which is 8. So we do 72 divided by 8 which we already know is 9, and then we just multiply both of these by 9. So times them both by 9, we get 27 black shapes, and we get 45 white shapes. And it's going to be some multiple of those, of course. It could be double, it could be triple those, but it's going to be some multiple. But we know now, if there are just 72 cards, 27 of them would be black. So we already have our number now for the amount of black shapes. And we can do exactly the same for the circles and triangles. So if we split a ratio in the circles and triangles ratio there, which is 2 to 7, that is a total of 9. 
So we would do 72 divided by 9, which we know is equal to 8. And then we would multiply both of those by 8, just like we would when we're sharing in a ratio. So 2 times 8 is 16. 7 times 8 is 56. So the number there that relates to triangles, which is what we're looking for, the number of cards that are a triangle, as stated in the question, is the 56. So the 16 circles and 56 triangles. So in terms of writing our final answer here, we know that there are 27 black shapes out of, and there are 56 triangles. So to write this fraction, we would just give our final answer as 27 over 56, as there are 27 black shapes using this multiple, and out of 56 triangles, again using this multiple. Now as we're writing a fraction, it's okay if there were more than 72, because they would have to be in proportion to the 27 and 56. So let's say, for example, there were 144 cards, and those fractions, those uh, ratios had been simplified. Well, in that case, the fraction would just be twice as big. You'd have 54 on the top, and you'd have 112 on the bottom, and that would simplify to 27 over 56 anyway. So it's absolutely fine that there could be more than 72 cards. So as I said, for this question, we didn't necessarily need to draw that probability tree, although that's going to help for different versions of this question. But as this one was quite unique and it was asking us to write a particular fraction at the end, we could have actually got away with just doing 8 times 9, as we only really needed to know that denominator or that total that the cards were out of. So there we go, that's how you go about doing a problem like this, where you have ratios written as fractions. So if you want a more in-depth look looking at this topic, you want to go through some more practice questions, just understanding the basics behind this topic, I'll link the full video in the description, you can see it on the screen. And within that video, if you click into the description, just like this one, you'll see that all of the topics are listed there as well. So even if you're not sure on that topic and you figure out the bits that you're not sure on, they're all there, they're all linked to the description and they're all there for you to practice. So hopefully you found this video useful and helpful. If you did, please don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you for the next one.